Master technology. Create technology. This is Toyohashi University of Technology. Our university opened on October 1st, 1976. The university is located on a hill in the southern part of Toyohashi City, Aichi Prefecture. 15% of our student body consists of international students who come from more than 30 different countries. Our goal is to create a multicultural, global campus where all students actively learn together, regardless of gender, nationality, or race. The undergraduate and graduate schools have five academic departments each. In the Department of Mechanical Engineering, we develop human resources who can contribute to future society through manufacturing innovation. In Electrical and Electronic Information Engineering, students explore cutting-edge electronics technology aimed at building a more environmentally secure future for the world and its people. In Computer Science and Engineering, we start with the basic theories of information technology and explore advanced technological science such as AI, cognitive neuroscience, IT media, and robotics. In applied chemistry and life science, we use chemistry and biology to explore the future of humanity and the planet from multiple perspectives. In architecture and civil engineering, we train engineers to build safe, secure urban spaces and living environments and lay the foundations for a richer future society in terms of quality of life. Approximately 80% of our undergraduates go on to join our graduate school's master's program and then seek employment after acquiring their master's degree. The spacious grounds of our hilltop campus include lecture halls, research facilities, dormitories, and more. At the library, students can discuss their research or just enjoy a chat. Our student services facility boasts a cafeteria, shop, and bookstore. Our student dormitories provide housing for students in individual rooms. Student accommodation consists of dormitories A to F and the TUT Global House, which has common living spaces in a shared house style accommodation. The campus hosts a variety of events throughout the year. The student-sponsored Gikadaisai Festival features campus club exhibits, live music, and refreshment stands. The TUT Expo offers the chance to experience the world with traditional dance and other performances from the home countries of our foreign students. Open Campus gives local residents, technical school students, and high school students the chance to learn about our research and student life. Our university is home to over 45 clubs, including sports, cultural, and student government groups. Our wind orchestra lends color and excitement to our entrance and graduation ceremonies. The TUT Robocon Club competes in the NHK Gakusei Robocon. TUT Formula, an automobile research club, designs, builds, and drives cars in the Formula SAE Japan competition. You will be sure to find a club or activity that matches your interests. Skills, technology, friends, and dreams. This is Toyohashi University of Technology. Hello from Japan. Welcome to Toyohashi University of Technology session today. So let's get started. Uh, at, 
undergrad student will go to the graduate course. So uh, uh, we are pretty much uh, uh, fit to the six years education system now. And the student number uh, total, uh, including undergrad and graduate course is 2000 actually, and uh, taken care by 200 professors. So 10 over one that year, which is pretty good number. So you are pretty close to be educated with your professors. And expected life on the campus is easy to find your friends because um, uh, we are nearly 50% of the international students on the campus. And for the uh, uh, entrance of the new student uh, from the international, uh, we offer the GAC course, which is the Global Technology Architect course. And that ensured the, uh, upon the graduation, uh, we uh, educate you pretty well in the Japanese to ensure to have the N1 level. And uh, we offered you uh, uh, on the campus global housing as a dormitory. So you can uh, have the international experience around the campus. And upon the uh, entrance, the Japanese profession is not fully required. Of course, if you have, it's much better, but uh, it's not fully required. A living cost is quite affordable, not comparable to the Tokyo, which will be explained in the later. Uh, this is the, uh, 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 this is the YouTube. Uh, our student uh, mentioned why they choose the TUT. So once you check on that, you can clearly see uh, the real voice from our student. The multicultural and multiracial environment. Definitely is something that you would never regret doing it. Hi, my name is Joanne and I'm from Malaysia. I'm in my fourth year in Applied Chemistry and Life Science. One of the reasons I choose Japan is because Japan has one of the best education systems in the world. We don't just learn academically, but we also learn more of hands-on experiments and also more chances to go on internships. One of the best things in TUT is the multicultural and multiracial environment. Not only Japanese students, we also have students from all walks of life. Here I get to learn different cultures without having to go to other countries. Hello, uh, my name is Omar Nelson Herrera Prieto. Uh, you can call me Omar. Okay, since I was in middle school, I have a big interest in the culture, mainly because of the films. And well, I decided to study in Japan because I really want to experience what it was to live here. It's an experience that definitely changed lives. I think I have grown up a lot since I came here. And definitely is something that you would never regret doing it. In these four years, I had the chance to uh, live in different places. I was living in Osaka, uh, now, well, here in Toyohashi. That makes a really big contrast, a big city, but it's also, I think, it's a good environment to, to focus uh, in studies. Be able to make research, be able to study different subjects and use uh, technology that has been like, you know, the latest technology, be able to work on that. Uh, as a student, I really feel this uh, will help you a lot in your career choice. Well, what I liked the most about, about Global House was that I got the chance to make Japanese friends, uh, and not just with uh, Japanese students, but as well with other foreigner students, people from you know, Malaysia, uh, Vietnam, Mongolia, places that I I don't know, I have never been and even thought I was, I was going to have the chance to talk with. We, have to, we get to do a lot of activities. Uh, and I remember, you know, the latest one, the uh, one-day campus mm -hmm. that you, you were from the committee, right? Yep, I was in the committee and you were the participant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is another video later from the Indonesian students, which is already in our uh, uh, in our uh, university. Uh, 
again, uh, they actually give us the very uh, clear, real voice from our students. So uh, you may be enjoying that. And you may have a much clear idea how our university should be. This is the global, uh, global technolo technology architecture course things. And uh, this is actually a new study experience in Toyohashi <coughs> in Japan. This is the information stats and the highlighted. Uh, let me go over uh, one by one uh, in detail. The first academic department, we have actually five, mechanical, electrical, computer science, and applied chemistry and life science and architecture and civil engineering. So we actually covered the most of an engineering topic and the engineering subject. So if you interested in some engineering things, you may fit uh, some part, of course. And again, uh, we uh, basically six year undergrad master course uh, design of the of education program. And this is actually global technical science education program, which is offered by GSC anyway. The fee of the tuition is around 5,000 US dollars per year, and the enrollment fee is about 2,500 US dollars, which is pretty fair for the Japanese National University. The eligibility uh, upon your uh, entrance, uh, actually, we have uh, four important uh, information here. You have to uh, take the EJU test, and the total score must be over 60%. And the math and the science is mandatory to be passed, to be passed, to be taken. And the English proficiency, of course, need to be uh, over some certain level, which is like this. It's not pretty high, but uh, you must have an English proficiency anyway. Otherwise, we cannot offer any kind of class in, in a course. Uh, then you are commitment to pass the J uh, Japanese N1 course uh, uh, when you graduate. We hardly educate, uh, we push your heart to educate the Japanese course. And so uh, you, you might be uh, eligible to pass the N1 course eventually. The last one is very important. Uh, uh, complete it, you must complete the 12 year program expected to do by uh, March 31st. Uh, this is the, uh, 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 our J Japanese university's classification. So uh, uh, this is mandatory. If you only have the 11 years, you must uh, have an additional one year. The selection is the uh, uh, basically several parts, which is including academic proficiency, uh, including school transcript and the EGF test and also the English test. The reason for the application need to be, uh, of course, you have to clarify. And the essay is uh, one of the things we can check how strong you want to enroll to our university. We have the interview in both English and Japanese to check the Japanese proficiency anyway. Uh, this might be done will be uh, oral presentation, uh, oral examination at our university. So you must come and you take in this oral examination test. <laughs> Admission schedule for the next year is application is December. The interview, which is done over there, has to be uh, scheduled on uh, sometime in January. Scholarship, uh, before admission, just a scholarship will be available. Then after you admit it, uh, we have the uh, uh, several uh, choice uh, we can offer to you. So uh, in detail, uh, uh, of course, you can ask uh, after the end of, or uh, you can ask the uh, our admission center. The residence, when you enter a university, uh, you will be stay at the global. Okay, uh, then most of the companies, uh, very top level company in Japan uh, is offered and 32% of students can enroll for those very good companies anyway. And job for offer is a very good uh, population at this moment. So uh, uh, if you want to go somewhere, you may find some, some companies based on your interest. Then uh, the location of our university is named the city of the Toyohashi, uh, which is in between Tokyo and Osaka. And around the Toyohashi, there's many uh, of the uh, uh, very well-known companies, which is automobile, Toyota, Honda, 
Suzuki or Yamaha. Uh, then so I think so many uh, of the uh, companies are, are, are pretty much close by. Now we have the Penang campus, not on the Toyohashi in Malaysia. This is the overview of the campus. And uh, uh, this is the five courses we offered, uh, uh, sorry, five departments, the mechanical and electrical and uh, uh, computer science, applied chemistry, the architecture and the civil engineering. This is the uh, student stats, uh, total student number at this moment was around 2000. And the undergrad is 1200, the master is nearly 800, and the PhD is 100. And the international students is 277, which is nearly 50% at this moment. Uh, uh, this number is actually increasing, so uh, you may easily to find your friends on the campus. The faculty number is about 200, which is the uh, one tenth of your uh, total student number. Uh, not only the educa engineering education, but we are very famous for uh, the research university, uh, top rank university in Japan. These are the stats, and uh, only 14 universities certified all those kind of program, and uh, our name is over here. And these are the ranking and. Uh, uh, the research grant per faculty, the ranking is two among over 700 universities in Japan. So this is a very good resource of the research. And of course, this is going to the uh, professional education as well. Other things has also very high ranking. So uh, uh, you may not be regretted once you are admitted. These are the, uh, uh, the career the path one when, how you are going to make the career in, during the university, but we may skip on that. Okay, this is also skipped. And uh, uh, this is the stats for the international student. Uh, we have uh, at this moment 273, uh, 277 students from overseas and from 44 countries. The Malaysia is a top, the Mongolia, Vietnam, and Indonesia and China. Those are the top five. You might be one of them, hopefully, in the future. Now, all courses uh, let me talk in our uh, university uh, as everything is bilingual lectures, which is English and Japanese is mixed used. Uh, in the first year, uh, English is more uh, weighted, and the uh, second, third, fourth year, uh, gradually uh, Japanese language is more be involved. So uh, you might be uh, adjusted. Uh, pretty much because that the first year you will be educated pretty highly, uh, pretty much of the Japanese language. So you may capture uh, any level of the uh, your language uh, due to by this language uh, bilingual uh, system, you might be able to enjoy your lecture and uh, you might be uh, get the, uh, enough information from your lectures. This is the global house, uh, which is a dormitory, uh, which you might be living over there once you enrolled. Five rooms was there and the five rooms were actually shared by uh, all uh, students. Uh, maybe uh, some of them are the Japanese and some of them is international. So you may enjoy the uh, international atmosphere even though you are on the campus in Japan. Uh, this is the uh, uh, living expense uh, expenses. Uh, tuition enrollment fee, which is, uh, I have already mentioned that, and economical life in Toyohashi, which is much more uh, important for probably for you guys. And this is a very uh, easy uh, uh, comparison. When you choose the Tokyo and Toyohashi, a uh, total living cost is, is, of course, you have the kind of choice, but the, the, the range, but the most likely it's a half of the Tokyo. And the part-time job uh, applying, uh, it's no difference. So you may find that a part-time job and you living the uh, less cost than Tokyo. So uh, that's a very good part. This is the career path for the international student. Uh, most of the student, uh, uh, some of the students return to company and uh, country, but uh, at the half, after the bachelor four, uh, half go to the graduate, half go to the work. And after that, uh, once going to the master course, 
uh, the half of the student is going to get the job to some companies. And 21% of the master course finish and going to the graduate, uh, going to the doctor course, which is a pretty good number anyway. Uh, these are the employment after the graduate. Uh, these are the, just uh, the example that are very big companies. Uh, you can, you may find it. This is the explanation for the uh, GSC uh, courses. So uh, uh, you may check on the uh, brochure uh, whenever you need it, uh, whenever you have time. These are the detail for the five, uh, five department, mechanical, electrical, computer science, applied chemistry, and architecture civil engineering. These are more information available. Uh, if you want to uh, check up the more detail, these are uh, the helpful uh, resources whenever you have a chance to check, up, check it out. Uh, these are the global host uh, video made by the student. Uh, this is a very nice video and that uh, you might be enjoyed. Uh, just likely you are in the global host. And th this is the last slide. Uh, this is the uh, access for the five minutes promotion video for our university. This is actually a very nice video. So uh, uh, as we are compacted, so uh, I strongly recommend you go checking out. Okay, uh, I think I consume all the time. So uh, uh, I want to welcome you have any kind of questions if you have. Thank you very much. Okay, I have the one uh, question from the chat. Do you have an entrance exam? Yes, we do. Uh, that was, let me go back to the slide six. Uh, that the part of the selection, uh, this is actually the exam. So uh, uh, the exam means that the written exam, uh, we don't have any kind of written exam, but you must write the reason for the application and the essay. These are the kind of uh, examination. And of course you, uh, you must pass the EGA test. So uh, if the question means that we do, if, uh, do we have the, uh, our, uh, our own examination system. Uh, it's not, uh, EJU is kind of a, a, the way to checking up your proficiency of the education, engineering education. Of course, script, script transcript is necessary and I, we do have the interview. Okay, next question is, can a master course, can the master program offered by the computer science department be completed using only English master program or do we need to have knowledge? Okay. Um, uh, if this question is only for the, the graduate course, uh, the answer is yes. Uh, you can just finish in, in English uh, because we actually offer two uh, paths. One is uh, admitted from the April and the two years for the master program. Uh, this is actually the uh, 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 general course, and uh, uh, you may take, you may need to take the uh, Japanese course and lectures, and also uh, uh, some of the exam from the Japanese course. So uh, uh, this is the uh, enroll uh, from the uh, April, but uh, uh, we do have the international course, which is the uh, uh, you admitted from the October. Then uh, from the October and you also spend a two years. Then that in international course is only made by English. So uh, uh, you don't need to speak Japanese, but of course uh, you, you have to communicate to your professors in English. So you, you must have the uh, uh, sufficient English proficiency. Otherwise uh, there is no hope. I think this might be enough. Okay, one guy raised their hands, uh, Lucas. Hello, can you yes. hear me? Yes, I, I, I can hear you. I would like to ask about the, this slide that you share about the elig eligibility. The, okay, eligibility part, all right. Does all criteria must be fulfilled or just only one? Can... Uh, which part are you talking about? 
the eligibility, you got EJU, English Proficiency Test score, and the commitment to pass JLPN by graduation. Uh -huh. When I apply for this school, I need to uh, fit those all criteria only, or I need to fit one criteria only. Uh, okay, uh, you, you have to fit all. Oh, so I need EJ, I need EJU to apply this school also. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me uh, go over uh, the other one. I want to know about the applying to your university by mixed scholarship recommendation. Uh, Regarding, just a chat the moment. Uh, the application for the max scholarship university recommendation, uh, it depends on your uh, which uh, program. Are you, if you uh, apply the undergrad, undergraduate program, you have to apply our university uh, upon uh, enter our university, you can apply the uh, max scholarship uh, uh, through our university. But if postgraduate program, you have to go to the uh, Japan embassy in your country through the embassy to apply the scholarship. Uh, hi, Konnichiwa, Sumimasen. This is my question. Uh, I just want to ask uh, uh, to apply as a Kenkusei. Oh, I mean, okay. non-degree program as a Kenkusei. Okay, Kenkusei. Uh -huh. uh, generally, MEX program, uh, you can apply first the uh, Kenkusei, uh, which is a research student. Then after the Kenkusei, you can uh, officially enroll to this uh, the graduate course. If you can only finish the, uh, the Kenkyusei, not going to the graduate course, then uh, you cannot apply for the max scholarship, I believe. No, actually, I want to start as a non-degree Kenkyusei, and after uh -huh. it, continue my education with doctoral degree program. Okay. And well, actually, I have yes. already... Ah, it's possible, yes, by yes, university recommendation next. Not yes. embassy, just, you know, okay. Because I have already found a suitable professor for me from your university and have already sent huh. uh, my research plan to him. Okay. Uh, well, I think that's Thank possible. you very much. Yes. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. No problem. Well, the, the life in TUT. Well, it, um, TUT is, well, you know, in Toyohashi and Toyohashi is not a big city. It's, it's uh, way different from... Tokyo and from Osaka. So the city here is quite peaceful, I would say. And also the public transportation is kind of inconvenient here. There's there's only bus and there are not uh, many train stations. And yeah, well, compared to Tokyo and Osaka, the uh, the price, the price of stuff here uh, is cheaper. For example, you can buy um, meat here, for example, beef. It's about 100 yen per 100 gram. But in Tokyo, it might be more expensive. That's one thing. And then the second thing is the, uh, the accommodations are cheaper as well. When you get a room here, uh, it's on average it's about thirty thousand yen, which is around three hundred U.S. dollars. And compared uh, to the rooms in Tokyo, it's about seventy thousand yen, I would say. So yeah, it's almost half the price in Tokyo. And then, well, if you enter the GAC course, uh, the university will provide a dorm, a dormitory for, for any students. And then, well, it's, it's like a share house. You live with other international students and also you live with Japanese students. So you have many chances to interact with other Japanese students. <clears throat> and yeah, the dorm price is really cheap as well. The utility fee is also included and the internet fee is also included. 
And yeah, the, the dorm is inside the campus area. So it's really close to the university. And I would say it's really convenient. Uh, sounds like a good environment for studying. Yes, I would say so. <clears throat> oh yeah, and also in the university, uh, especially for mechanical engineering, we have, uh, what you call that, uh, a manufacturing factory. In there, you have many heavy equipments like uh, CNC router and stuff like that. And we also have 3D printer. So I would say the um, the facility is quite uh, complete here. Yeah, that is, I think that's from me, uh, from the mechanical engineering. How about Faro? Uh, yeah, for me, I think, uh, as, as you said, William, mm -hmm. uh, living here in GAC Global House, uh, you, I think compared to other university, uh, it is easier for you to make friends and uh, especially Japanese or internet with other international students because we are living uh, in the living house uh, in the unit with four for other students. Yeah, we live with four uh -huh. other students, uh, both international students and Japanese students. Yes. Yeah, and then uh, after that about my uh about my kakubu kakubu uh, yeah. department department yes uh there's there's uh ips studies in ips cells and and then genetic engineering maybe if you interest interested with that kind of studies you can i'm highly recommend you to enter this university yeah, I think that's all for me. Well, um, before we came here, we studied in a Japanese language school for one and a half year. And then we got the certification for, well, for me, I got N1. And for Faro, he got N2 certification. And then, yeah, after that, after one and a half year in a language school, we came here. And yeah, the, the benefit of getting N1 or N2 certificates before you enter is when you enter, you get a uh, free credit. For example, if you get one N1, uh, when you enter, you just show your N1 certification and then uh, you will be given the 10 free credits for the Japanese language. So you don't have to attend any uh, Japanese language classes anymore. Uh, let's see, how old are you? I am, currently I am 23 years old and I'm in my um, fourth year undergraduate course. And I am 21 years old and I'm in the second year. Hmm. Yeah, that is how we entered here. So from our country, we directly came to Japan to study Japanese, just for studying Japanese. And then after one and a half year, we entered here in uh, April. Yes, in April. Thank you, Leo and Paro. Di QT itu, fasilitasnya lengkap. Salah satunya adalah perpustakaan, di mana ada ruang untuk belajar bersama, ruang komputer yang bisa dipakai 24 jam, dan ada pula kafe kecil yang bisa dipakai untuk beristirahat setelah belajar. Selain itu, ada pula fasilitas olahraga seperti training gym, running field, tennis court, swimming pool, dan lain-lain. Unif ini menggunakan bahasa Inggris dan bahasa Jepang, jadi cocok untuk kalian yang mau kuliah secara bilingual. Dan juga di dorm kita, Global House, kita tinggal berlima dengan orang Jepang dan orang asing, jadi selalu ada teman dan tidak pernah merasa kesepian. Ditambah lagi, orang Jepang di sini pun terbuka dan pengertian terhadap kita orang asing.
Jadi mereka tidak enggan untuk pertemuan dengan kita. Saya suka yang ditiup ini adalah karena lingkungannya dikelilingi oleh alam. Untuk kalian yang suka eksplorasi, nature atau fotografi, saya rekomendasikan kalian untuk datang ke sini. Kota Toyasi ini pemandangannya cukup unik jika dibandingkan dengan kota lainnya. Tentu saja kalian juga bisa lebih fokus belajar jika datang ke sini. Terakhirnya, IUT ini adalah universitas negeri yang jika dibandingkan dengan universitas negeri lainnya cukup mudah untuk masuk. Okay, uh, thank you for your uh, attending our session. Uh, we are appreciate it, and uh, we uh, we strongly hope we answer all the questions. But uh, if you have more questions, just send to us. Uh, send to the email to the Office of International Affairs or any kind of contact to us. But uh, please check out the uh, our website and also the brochure, uh, which was the, uh, provided by the QR code, and that including the uh, which of the information. But uh, of course, we are happy to have any kind of question from you. And thank you for your attendance. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Let me say, please. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you for all uh, of you uh, interest uh, to Toyasi University of Technology. Uh, we will wait. Uh, any kind, any kind, any, any kind question if you, you have, uh, as uh, Nakama Sensei mentioned, uh, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you. Okay, so um, thank you everyone for attending the session. Um, if you're interested, then I will be seeing you here in Japan in Toyoshi University of Technology. So yeah, good luck guys uh, with the EJO or with the English, English test, English language test. I hope the score can be used in this, can be used for applying for this university and we are waiting for you, guys. Thank you. So, uh, thank you today. Thank you. Goodbye.